Hi, I'm Mike Hawley. I'm head of research and development for Packet Core at Nokia. Welcome to the Cloud Packet Core video series. I've recently been speaking with customers about some of the challenges they face. I'd like to share them with you. One of them is how do you minimize the 5G Packet Core implementation risk? And how do you monetize the 5G network? Well, let's go. There are some new concepts introduced in 5G that allow a great deal of flexibility in the network. This allows CSPs to be very nimble and thus is a great way to minimize risk. First, the concept of a cloud has become much more nuanced. There's a private cloud, which is a cloud network that CSPs build for their own use. A public cloud is defined as one built by third-party companies, also known as hyperscalers, for renting software and hardware capacity. An on-premises cloud is an extension of the public cloud implemented inside the customer premises. And finally, there's a hybrid cloud where more than one implementation mode is used. Second, the core network is architected using cloud-native principles with microservices that automatically scale, that automatically handle failure recovery, and where it's easy to add and remove components. Third, solutions must be hardware agnostic, free from lock-in, and certified to run on many different cloud platforms. Because being cloud native alone does not guarantee that the software will run on any cloud. As 5G networks are being built, there's two major areas of risk to consider. 5G networks need to be deployed regionally for coverage and for latency. And with 5G, the concerns about latency are even stronger, hence the need to put the network all the way out to the edge. That causes a lot of investment in real estate and servers for the CSP, all before there's enough subscriber load and revenue to justify that investment. CSPs can minimize this risk by deploying on public cloud. In public cloud, they can take advantage of the wide geographic coverage offered by hyperscalers while using only and paying only a fraction of the cost of these resources and using OPEX instead of CAPEX. In the early days of any technology, the demand can be quite unpredictable with pockets of very high demand and surges in demand when new devices or killer applications are launched. In such cases, the public cloud can be used to rapidly serve the customer demand and avoid overbuilding your capacity or underserving the demand. And if the traffic and the demand remains, you can optimize your workload and the traffic later. But what about monetization? Will I really be able to make money with a 5G network? Well, we've already seen financial reports that show additional revenue coming from 5G premium services. And we see subscriber counts are increasing because users want 5G service. Moreover, services like fixed wireless access, autonomous vehicles, industrial control, remote medical assistance, these are all just the tip of the iceberg because now we're seeing services development really take off. But how has 5G technology contributed to the growth in possible services? Historically, API-based services were challenging to implement because of the limitations of telecom hardware. However, with 5G, we have the service-based architecture and we have cloud-native designs, and those are removing the roadblocks. Initiatives like API standardization and the existence of software development kits are lending significant momentum and traction to new services development. This is going to multiply service possibilities, leading to growth and monetization in the near future. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for the next video.